So today on the workbench, this is the continuation of a teardown on a Nintendo Switch to replace the power IC. As you see, the chip on the bottom left is my first attempt of installing this, which one of the pins has got a bit hot and decided to leave. So to the left here, I have got the potential replacement chip, which for the keen eyes that are looking at this right now, that's the correct orientation of said chip of the M92T36 the dilemma I had with the other one was aligning it correctly which I do have a bit of drama later on in the video of this and you'll see some of the other or for the keen eyes you'll see a few other dramas I've had on this chip or on this board right now already so if you've ever done a replacement on one of these you'll notice two things that aren't correct. So I'll just do a quick pause. There they are. So I've knocked off a capacitor to the right hand side or oh, resistor and up the top three there I accidentally nudged those and put them out of alignment. Which I've realigned those three and the one that's missing end up getting caught on the end of my end of the uh, tweezers and opened the tweezers and I flung, felt it hit my arm and from there I knew it was gone. So anyway, I'll proceed ahead with the video. So this is the second attempt I've done at this. The first attempt was not successful, but being it's my first micro soldering job for my own side project, I thought I'll give it another crack today. I'm not too concerned if I can't get this one up and powered once more, being I know I've done further damage to it. But I just say this is a bit more experience using the the quick 861DW soldering station and just the tools I've got in general. One thing I did notice with this, with a, quite a bit of experimenting, was finding the correct or a good temperature to get the factory solder to turn back to liquid. With that I end up having it at 260 degrees with airflow set at 60 on the quick. With that, the majority of the time I could get the solder to liquefy without blowing the chips off the board or pushing around the IC too much. Anything below that with air temperature or, sp or air speed, I couldn't get it to push or couldn't get it to liquefy. Anything above I tried 280 at 40 and with that it was just yeah, not enough flow to heat up the solder so I still had no luck with that nor was I really wanting to push it past 300 but I found yeah 260 with a flow of 60 and you should be able to take this chip off relatively quickly and reinstall the new one hopefully relatively easily as well so from here on out, let's let the video play out. But hopefully, this gives you a little bit of an insight on what needs to go on to reattach it. And hopefully it's help, help, uh, some helpful information, or at least to see some potential, yeah, potential information anyway. Anyway, catch you later. Uh, the short version. No luck powering this up after. So I'm not sure if putting through the ultrasonic cleaner will help it. That's my next stage. And then from there, I'll do a bit more tracing on where the power is going and hopefully I can get this one going again. If not, it would just purely become a donor board. Catch you later.